and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the fifth Sunday in Lent. We continue to thank God for His grace and strength upon us as we journey with the Lord in this Lenten season. Our reading today is from the Gospel of John chapter 12 from verse 20 to 33. And our topic is titled, We Wish to See Jesus. We Wish to See Jesus. In the passage before us today, we see some Greeks who came to Jerusalem to worship at the feast. They took note of the disciples of Jesus. So they approached one of the disciples and requested to see Jesus. They said, we wish to see Jesus. Can you imagine that? Greeks are the people that are sometimes referred to as Gentiles. In our days, we call them unbelievers. Don't forget that these people came to worship. They came to the temple. Yet, they said they want to see Jesus. This is very interesting. It shows that they are not just following the rituals and the motions in worship at the temple. They wish to see Jesus. It is not about being lost in the crowd. No, it does not matter what you call them or how you describe them. One thing that is important is that they want to see Jesus. They want to have an encounter with the Lord. They want to have an encounter with our Creator. They are seeking to see Jesus on one-on-one, to have a one-on-one relationship with our Savior. They desire an intimacy with the Master. That is why they are following, Philip and Andrew were following Jesus, and they believe that they too need to follow the Master. They want to know the disciples. They want to see Jesus. Brothers and sisters, are you just a part of the multitude of people who just came to the temple? Or are you truly seeking the master? Do you want to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the master? Do you wish to see Jesus? Do you want to share fellowship with him? Do you want to have a close relationship with him? Or are you already having an intimacy with our Lord? Do you want to have him in this life and in eternity if yes you do then you must make every effort to have and maintain a close relationship a close intimacy with our lord jesus christ you know the special things that you do just to maintain some relationship that you cherish so much in that same way you must go beyond the crowd to have a personal encounter with jesus and you must give it what it takes. Again, I ask you, do you want to see Jesus? Do you want to see Jesus? May God help us. May God grant us the grace to go beyond the ordinary to have a genuine personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want you to say to yourself as you listen to this message, I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. If yes, you truly want to see Jesus, show it through your character, show it through your closeness with Jesus, show it through in everything you do. Love your Jesus. Come back. Come closely, closely, closely to partner with your God this year, 2021. You still have a lot of time. The time is still here for you. Come and see your God. Come and have an encounter with Jesus. Come and have a close relationship with your God. When you have this encounter, your life will never remain the same again. When you come close to your Jesus, things will begin to work in your favor. I pray for you that is listening to this message. May you seek for Jesus and may you see him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday. And I continue to pray for all that is observing this Lenten season. May the grace and strength of God be upon us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a lovely week. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.